Alright, welcome back to the Dream Machine. Last time we went into Alicia's dream and found out about the cruise that she's on. Not only not only is she not just relaxing, she's the captain of it. And all the workers look like us. Yeah. And actually we're Victor Six. So right now we took commands just to talk to other Victors and just get work until we have an actual assignment. So let's just go around and talk to the other victors, see what they see what they want us to do. Talk to head servants. The captain's aide told me to help you out. Is there anything I can do? Sure thing. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but there's a rat infestation aboard. I just saw one scuttle into the hole by the door as you ran around the corner. If you wanted to, you could help me battle them. Sure, what do I need to do? As far as I can tell, they build their nests in the walls. You need to locate all the nests in the section and bait them with poison. How many nests are there? I've seen three so far. Sounds good? Consider it done. Great. Here's the rat poison. There's only a little bit left, but I think it'll be enough to bait the nest. Don't handle the stuff lightly, mind you. The poison is potent is potent enough to kill an old world man. You get to keep the box as your reward. Gee. Goodbye. I'll see you later then. Alright, the holes aren't ha the holes can be kinda hard to find if you're not looking right, but there we go, there's one right there. Let's see what else we could do. Are you getting used to life on board? No, it seems rather unfamiliar. Don't worry about it. Once you get the assignment, you'll get used to it. About that. The captain's aide told me to make myself useful and help you guys out. Anything you need? Not really, but if you want, you can clean the desk over there. I'll do it myself when I'm on break. Ah, uh, sure, I can do that. Thanks. It's time to stink a bit. It needs to be sent down to the kitchen. Goodbye. See you later then. We'll talk later to them about the bowl, but let's just finish some tasks first. This may suck, but yeah, there's, I don't know if you noticed this in the last episode, but right there, there's rat hole. Yeah, there's rats in your room. Try sleeping at night now. <laughs> what the hell? Salmon mermaid. It's a decorative mermaid statue. It doesn't even look like a mermaid. Alright, now nah, let's see what Victor, bartender, wants us to do. Kazze told me to help you out. Is there anything I can do? Not really. You can start, you just can't start making drinks, you know. Attending bars, which kind of skills, and years of training. It's a huge responsibility and requires secret arcane knowledge passed on from tender to tender. Okay. How do I learn this arcane knowledge? This book is a good place to start. The Ultimate Drink Book? A comprehensive guide to cocktails from around the world? That's it? A drink book? Knowing recipes is only half the job. You, gotta tra you could train a monkey to follow a recipe, but that wouldn't make him a bartender. The tricky part is doing it with some finesse. Prove it to me that you're not a monkey and I'll tell the captain say that you can help me. How do I do that? Mix me a decent martini. You'll find everything you need around the bar. If you mess up, you can just rinse the shaker and start again. Alright, let's w see what we need for a martini. Presidente, gin swing, Manhattan. Martini, we need three parts gin, six parts vermouth, and one part lemon juice. Vermouth. Gin. Lemon. Shaker. Just put the gin in the shaker. Put the vermouth in the shaker. I squeeze some lemon juice in the shaker. Behold, I have a martini. Let's give that to the bartender. There we go. Let's taste, shall we? You could use some finesse, but that's a pretty good martini. Well done. I'll tell the captain's aide that you helped me out. Thanks. Oh, wait, oh crap. I forgot something. So, remember how you, you know how I have to do the dishes to the... Pretty much, let's examine this dumb waiter. Dumb waiter. Call dumb waiter. Gotta press those buttons to call it. Oh, pick up that bowl. This bowl might be useful. 
put the dishes in the dumbwaiter, not operate dumbwaiter, send to kitchen. <coughs> Alright, now let's find that third rat hole. And there it is. That was the last of them. Which is a well placed. Alright, now let's talk. To, now let's go back and talk to the two victors we just helped out. You hear that? Victor 6, report to the Captain Zeta. I repeat, report to the Captain You couldn't have told me this when I was already up there. Because we don't have to tell them. There you are. Have my assignment arrived yet? Yes, I received your briefing. It's a good one. Your performance is inadequate. There might be a promotion in it. As you heard, I heard one of our crew members have gotten AWOL recently. He had a crew told me about that. It's unfortunate, but sometimes these things happen. According to initial reports, he was seen drinking late last night. But the Captain suspects somebody might be withholding information. Well, this is, why does she think that? Because the initial reports contradict each other. That's not interesting. I said that wrong. Some say they saw him drinking. Some say he never touched a drop. It doesn't add up. Has this happened before? It's pretty rare, but yeah, these things happen now and then. He seemed pretty unconcerned. The way I see it, he's probably passed out drunk somewhere below deck. That's usually the case when people miss a shift. I think he'll turn up sooner or later making excuses. Who is this missing group member? His call sign is Victor11. He works as a sun deck steward. He always seemed very reliable to me, but I have had much contact with him. Burgos stakes we have to inform his next akin 24 hours after his disappearance. The hour is approaching quickly, and the captain wants to be able to tell them something more. You're sorry, we seem to have misplaced your son. What does he want me to do? She wants you to investigate the talk to fellow crew members. Where is he last? Is it just He's hiding something, that sort of thing. What does a sun deck steward do? He basically takes care of passengers who are sunbathing. He'll do anything from applying sunscreen to managing chair reservations. Why is the captain giving me this assignment? Since you arrived today, you're the most, important, you're the most impartial crew member on board. If you don't know any of the crew and you have no reason to lie, that puts you in a unique position to actually find out what happened. Could file blade his disappearance? I guess all options have to be considered until we found evidence to rule them out. I won't let the captain down, sir. With this assignment, you've been promoted to rank of assistant fourth class. Perform your duty admirably, there might be another promotion down the line. Come back to see me if you need anything I need my help. That was stupid, sorry. I might be able to nudge you in the right direction. Auto save. Don't worry, the episode won't end. Alright, now let's just talk to some of the victors. First, let's see if we can talk to Intercom. Let's call the kitchen. Kitchen here. Uh, I'm trying to locate Victor 11. Have you seen him down there? No, he hasn't been down in the kitchen. Nobody here has seen him. Right, just checking. So I wrong number. Call engineering. I love these guys. Just hello. Engineering department. I'm trying to locate Victor 11. No, I haven't seen him down here. Right. Now let's. I love this. Junior electric engineer Victor 178. Who are you? I'm Victor 6. I'm calling from. The bar. What do you want, bartender? How's it going, guys? Well, I was sober about an hour ago, but things are starting to shape up. We're getting pretty baked down here. You should join us. Thanks. I'll consider it. <laughs> I love that. Alright, well, look like they haven't heard. Look like the kitchen and the engineering department haven't heard anything. Well, let's talk to head servant. I'm investigating the experience of Victor 11. I'd like to ask you a few questions about it if you don't mind. Shoot. How old did you know Victor Eleven? I know him quite well, I guess. We shared a couple. We shared a cabin for the last couple of months. Which cabin would that be? Vic cabin two, the one right next to yours. I like to check out where he lived. We wouldn't have to have the key, would you? As strange as it might sound, I seem to have forgotten where I put it. Maybe you can do something to jog my memory. Like what? Well, there's a guy down in the kitchen, Victor Eighty Four. He's just a prep chef, but for some reason he thinks he can get around. He thinks he got the right to boss my waiters around. If you can find some way to teach that guy a lesson, I might be able to remember where I put the key. What type of lesson? Something that says don't mess with the wait staff. Alright, I'll do that. Great. Come back and I'll give you the key. When was the last time you saw it? Last night around 9 or 10. Where was that? In our cabin, as he was coming back from the ship, he was freshening up. He said something he was meeting someone on a sun deck. Who? I don't know, but he seemed pretty antsy. 
got himself perfumed to the gill, so naturally I thought he was seeing some skirt from the passenger ass action. He didn't ask? We're not allowed to con consort with passengers, but if one of us does, I tend to look the other way. What happened next? I tried to cover his morning shift, thinking he was off on cloud nine, but when he didn't show up for lunch, I started to suspect something was wrong. What did you do then? By then, his absence had been noticed by others. I didn't tell anybody about the mating because I thought it would look bad in his permanent record. I see. Do you have any reason why he wanted to leave the ship? Never mentioned it to me, but we were pretty close. Did he seem unhappy about something? I wouldn't say that. He seemed preoccupied lately, but definitely not unhappy. Preoccupied with what? I don't know, he never told me. Did he have any enemies on board? Why do you ask? Do you think someone might want to get rid of him? I'm just trying to be thorough. How can you make enemies on a sun deck? I don't know. Maybe he got too personal with someone's wife? I suppose that's possible, but he's always seemed so professional. That's all. See you later, then. Alright, I think I'll end this episode here. Um, next episode, we'll talk to more people about Victor Eleven's disappearance, and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. This has been Chris with Jellicuff Productions. Goodbye.